Welcome back to Dishing It. I love that music, don't you? Know, you know, I was just thinking how great it was. Yeah, I was just trying to find the right rhythm because it's a little bit different. We are Dishing It, and we are making chorizo chicken. It's almost time to try it. Jeremy, I do believe now that the oils are coming up, maybe we need a little more cheese. Yes, let's do that. And I do want to read this because I find this fascinating. Okay. That you can find this on the menu at some Mexican restaurants mm -hmm. with the Spanish name Choripollo. Yeah, pollo is chicken. Yes, yes pollo is chicken, yes, chori right. pollo. And one of my favorite things to make my mom growing up, she'd make on Sunday mornings, was arroz con pollo. And you would put it in before church. Ooh, it would yes. cook while you're gone. When you came home, the house smelled so what good. What good memories you have, young man. It was Yes, all good. great memories. Next okay. time my mama comes, because you know she wants to cook in my kitchen, because I have a new oh, big I bet she oven does. coming in. She yeah. was like, I'm like, I'm gonna have her make arroz con pollo and then bring it to the show. Oh, that's great. Oops. Did you tell her she has to stay for a week because I want her to come and cook for me for a week? What I thought she could do is cook on the show, then cook in my kitchen on my new uh -huh. gas oven that I'm so excited about. Yeah. And then I'm gonna freeze everything so I'll have food for like a month. Oh, that's good, but I'll pay her to make me food for a month. Oh, okay, then she will say yes to that. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, cheese? Yeah, would you wanna go the same way you did before? Sure. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're just adding more cheese because we want it. Well, cheese is such a great thing. And you know, Nas National Cheese Lovers Day was just recently, was just and we day. love cheese. I love that, Jeff. I'm gonna give a shout out to Jeff for that awesome Beautiful. music. Beautiful. You know, it reminds me of a very dramatic movie. It does. Like I feel we should be more dramatic. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. I'm sorry, Jeff. What did you say? Thank you very much. You're welcome. We love it when they talk over the microphone. Yeah. You know, music makes everything. Have you? You know, if you were to watch a movie without the music. I mean, seriously, it, it, totally tells, it tells you what's coming up in the next scene. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it just puts you in the mood, and uh, the music puts us in the mood to eat this delicious meal. I was meal. watching a documentary on one of the most famous, I can't remember his name offhand, but he was a movie composer, and they were showing the process, and they were showing the movie with and without the music. Uh, that's what I'm saying. And it was so fascinating to watch yeah. that, though, because you're just used to having that music behind yeah. it to build but, suspense or whatnot. But let me then, ask you this. I have watched movies where the music was too loud. I'm very sensitive to sound too. And if the music is too loud or someone's trying to talk and music is too loud, it really kind of ruins it for me. Um, I've, I, not, I, I've not experienced that. But yeah, that's, and that's all in the editing process, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to hear what's in the forefront. I love it in the background. But, but you know what I love too? And when what? we went to movie theaters, uh -huh. um, is when you sit there and the bass was so good, like something went off, your seat would kind of rumble. Oh, yeah. With the bass. Yeah, well, I yeah. love that. Yeah, when it was like a, a scene and yeah. nobody was like talking. Over and it was just like, there was like a boom or a car yeah. crash and it's yeah. so loud on screen that your whole seat, rumbles. you know, rumbles. Yes. All right, we are getting close. It's starting to bubble through. I turned it back on because oh, it was off. Nice. Okay. I think it'll be plenty hot. I'm kind of ready to try it. You want to try it? I kind of do. Okay, well then I'll dish it up D some. There's hey, that's the name of our show, Dishing It. Dishing It, you got it. All right. Oh, oh let's see. Okay. okay. Now, guys, don't judge this. <laughs> We don't have limes. It looks a little bit different in the picture. Um, we, we have learned that there are different kinds of chorizo. Wait, Kelly, can you get that shot of that one more time? As soon as they showed it, you know what I thought of. Wait, I'm going to wait for it to come up. Okay. Look at that. I said, oh, chorizo and chicken and a pizza. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it looks like a pizza to me. How about we say chorizo chicken pizza? There we go. Okay. Chorizo chicken now, pizza. Now, uh, our uh, producer did try the chorizo. He said it's a little spicy. And we Ooh. added a lot of that taco Oh, temperature, temperature hot. hot. Yeah, okay, he was I'm saying sorry, temp. I was misunderstood. That's why I turned it off during the commercial. Oh, I'm like, oh, it's going to be super duper hot. Okay. I Perfect. was worried because we. Okay, here we go. Let me just put. Okay, there we go. Now, does that look any more closely like the. Uh, not really. <laughs> but you know what I know? It's going to be delicious, and that is all that matters. Okay, let okay. me get in here. I'm going to get a little chorizo, yeah. a little chicken, okay. and a little cheese. Get all the flavors all together. Good thing it's not too temperature hot. Uh -huh. That's mm. good. That's real good. That is good. You know what I'd like to do with this, Kelly? Eat it? Yes, but I'd like to get tortilla chips mm. and dip it with the tortilla chip mm. and then eat it like a dip. This is really easy to make, too. This mm -hmm. would be great for, that would be for so this good. weekend's mm. game. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting the taco seasoning. Oh yeah, I am too now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I think that I think you're right. Perfect for game day. Yeah. And like you could eat it. Like I could imagine. I haven't talked to Jake about it, but like if this came in a, a Mexican restaurant, having it with like rice and beans. Oh, it would be chips so good. And guacamole. Mm, so good. That would be amazing. Yeah. Wow. This on top of rice would be so good. <sighs> yeah. I'm 
might have to get some of that. Oh, oh, serve your tortillas. Put it in the tortillas, fry them up. Wouldn't that be delicious? It would be. Not even kidding you. Mm. And the onions, perfect. I think we've got the right amount of onions. Do you think so? I do, and you know what? They're not um, soggy. No. They have just a yeah, they've got bit a little, of yeah, crunch. Just a little crunch. Teeny that, that bits of perfect. crunch. How easy was that? That was dish. so easy, yeah. Talk about that one even in a 22-minute meal. That was like a 10-minute meal. When I make something like this, it's like, why don't I do this at home? It's just so easy. This is a good recipe. Very quick. I'm telling you, now I want to add more onions. But it's too oh, late do now. You? I want them sauteed, though. Oh, oh gotcha. Okay. But that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we should ask our viewers, too. If there's anything you would like us to make on Dish It, yeah, of we'll take your suggestions. Yeah, we will. We, I know that we're running out of food because we'll never run out of food. No, we've always got recipes. But if we've got... If you've got a favorite recipe or a family recipe, and here's here's the only caveat with that, is that it has to fit in TV time, because we have had some friends, our friend uh, Suzanne Drennan sent me a potato recipe, I wanna say, and I mean, if we could figure out a way to condense it, uh, it just, you know, it takes longer than what we have for TV time. Um, we need 22 minute recipe. <laughs> yeah. 22 no, minutes or no less. No pressure. But, just so you know. But anyway, oh my um, gosh, this we is do so good. appreciate your feedback and your input, and we, we appreciate you. I just so. feel like this is so versatile mm -hmm. of what you can do with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That cheese and that melted cheese is perfect. And you know what? I do love the two different kinds of cheese. I'm going to well. take the off the heat. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, it is that temperature done. Was, done. done. Um, yeah. Kelly, can I go for seconds? You sure can. You I don't want to be do a that. hog, but no, you go ahead and do that. But it's I so think good. it is. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a staple. It's like. You could do a casserole with this. You could layer tortillas mm -hmm. and, and put this in and some more or chips. You could even do uh, like a nachos thing with this. I am in love with this base. Yeah. Because like I just agree with everything you just said. Yeah. It's totally perfect yeah. to take this and then do whatever you want with it. You could even make this into a chili. You could add some beans. <gasps> I'm just saying. Why don't? How easy Where's is that? Where's the can of beans when you need it? <laughs> <laughs> Bang, and I've told you before, it's kind of funny, when I make something at home, I'm the cook of the family, yeah. so I then take the leftovers and put it in the fridge. Uh -huh. The next day, I don't care what it is I cooked, I put it in a tortilla and wrap it up and eat it like a oh, burrito. Yeah, that's that's it great. It could be chicken pesto and make yeah. a chicken pesto burrito. That's a great idea. It's easy to do. Um, but you prefer the, the flour ones or the low carb. Low carb flour is what I get. To, uh, you could even do a tostada on that. I love tostadas. I love tostadas. By the way, are you a good leftover eater? If you make I, too much, I, you are you leftover? No, no, I, I do, yeah. As a kid, I hated leftovers. As yeah. an adult, such a time saver. I mean, here's the, the thing with me. I'm I love a, them. I'm a one-day leftover person. I don't I don't really want to do it for more than here's that. Here's what I do. Leftovers in the fridge, I put like, oh, I remember that was good last week. Let me just go, okay, it's still good. Seriously? I mean, if it ain't got mold on it and it don't okay. smell, Okay, and this is the funny thing tortilla. about my mom. My mom won't do leftovers at all. I do not know why. What? But I'm a, kind of a one day leftover and then I'm ready to move on to something mm. else. Yeah. I could eat my mom's enchiladas every day of the week. Oh, well. By the see. way, we should rate this though, Kelly. Let's start okay. with Kelly rating okay. it. Kelly. This is a 10. Absolutely a 10. Yeah. I'm going to eat the rest of this during the commercial. Absolutely. All right, Kelly, till next time, guess what? We We're are dishing it. it. This oh is my so gosh. Mm. So delicious.